It has been said that the true measure of a man or a woman is not seen in times of peace, but in times of crisis. So company leaders, now this is the time when your true colors are going to shine. And in this video, I'd like to share with you a little insight that I hope will help you achieve a greater sense of inner peace as you face the challenges ahead. My name is Janet Lee. I'm the CEO and culture consultant at 95%. We help companies build winning teams, teams that are aligned, they are accountable and achieving great results. And I'm sure you know, every winning team starts with a leader who has a winner's mindset. And whatever mindset that you had before COVID-19, it is time to elevate it. I'm sure you're already experiencing being challenged, incredibly challenged by everything that's going on. And that's why I'm doing this little video. As human beings, there are three components. We have the mind, and the mind is programmed through a lifetime of learning. All the knowledge that you have gained, all the studies, everything that you have gone through has programmed the mind to make intelligent decisions. And these intelligent decisions are meant to keep us safe. Then we have the heart, and the heart wants to dream. The heart wants to play. The heart is much more than an organ that is just pumping blood. The heart has been found to have a lot of neurons, so it feels, it wants to love. It wants to connect. So it's no surprise that heart and head are sometimes pulling you in opposite directions. And when that happens, the body gets confused. And how the body would, would show up is that it will start becoming very heavy. You'd either feel very tired and sleeping more than usual, or you'd be unable to sleep at all. That's a sign that mind and heart are actually not aligned. Because when they are aligned, that's when you would feel that everything you're doing is smooth and easy. You're just flowing along. It's easy to be fresh, alert. You have a lot of energy. Only when mind and heart are aligned. Now the thing is, you may think that it should be easy for me to know whether I'm aligned or not. But in business, we spend so much time putting a lot of emphasis on being intelligent and doing the clever thing, doing the smart thing, that we sometimes tune out our emotions. We stop listening to our heart because the heart is not rational. The heart is playful. It is sometimes labeled as frivolous or it makes us too touchy-feely and there's no place in, in business for that. We need to be a lot more sensible so that everything that we do has got ROI. But as human beings, if you operate that way, you're not operating to your full potential. Your full potential is when you're using all of your mind, all of your heart. And that's when the body is at peace and the body will jump into smooth flowing action. So the insight that I like to share with you is listen to your body. When your body is not at peace, when your body is, is tired or aching and there are aches and pains, it is a sign that stop, check in. Ask your mind, what is it that your mind wants to do? Really? Check in also with your heart. What is it that the heart is feeling? Why is the heart uneasy? Look deeper into it. Look for your inner truth. When you find what is really troubling you, that's when you can move past it. This is a tool by Barrett Value Center in UK. We are certified facilitators, so we have permission to share this tool with you. This is a personal values assessment. And it's very useful for leaders to check in, especially now, what are the core values that are really important to you? Those are the values that's coming from your heart. So when your mind wants to make a difficult decision, see if it is aligned with your core values. When it is aligned, all will be smooth and in the flow. So just click on the QR code. It will take you to the assessment. And once you submit it, you should get your report within 24 hours. That's what I wanted to leave you with. This little video has been about the kind of self-mastery that leaders need right now to navigate through the storm. In my next video, I'm going to talk more about the second area of mastery that we all need. So the first one is self-mastery. The second one is communication mastery. The third one is results mastery. And I also have another video coming up on that. So until I see you again, stay healthy, stay safe, stay in touch. And may you turn your workplace into a joy place by aligning your mind and your heart. This is Janet Lee signing out for now.